YouTubers, we're on the phone right now, recording. Like I said, I recorded the use EPS unit and so on and so forth. So we're deleting the fall code now and so on. Alright. As you can see the EPS here goes green. Alright, let us go look on the screen if the of the um if the exclamation mark with the steering symbol is all. See that it's gone. See that? It's gonna go away. Look. It's gonna go away. See it's gone. Okay, very good. EPS is programmed and encoded. So we're gonna try and start the vehicle and do a look at wrap up of the steering. As you can see now, it's only REM has one fall code in it. Two fall codes as we say. So let us go here to um vehicle management. Click troubleshooting. It says these are those it says right here uh System is not normalized, we're gonna do that. Passion the side rear invalid cursor is gonna normalize. Alright, so we're gonna see if we can um we're gonna calculate a test plan for that. And normalize these windows. As you can see here, look at this legend. When is where you see green green dot right here, it's just if you go at the bottom of the screen and look the green dot shows you that it is performed. So we don't have to perform the function. Again, we're gonna basically do this right here, one of these. We're gonna run the ABL for the power windows and see if we can initialize them. Let me see if I can run up this for now. Unless something is wrong with them, you know. We're going to um, run the command for the characteristics curves to be learned. And here we go, right here. It says uh, the fault description. Say so invalid. Invalid characteristic curve detected. Logical fault. Characteristic curve is RR invalid. Default profile data from flash is loaded. No thought profile available. Unless, of course, they replace the module there. And we need to do that. Secure diagnosis service initialization run. So, for the regulator, no longer moves correctly. Alright, we're going to see if we can initialize it here. To avoid faults. Um, ensure that all doors are closed during the um, activation of the four windows. You said here was the window regulator initialized? No, you said the window regulator is is, is initialized. That's what it's to say now. It said call up service function C test schedule or manual initialize the windows regularly. Alright. Was the window regulator initialized? Yes. No. I didn't do it so Maybe somebody's did. Initialize four window regulators. Continue test module. Oh, let me close out this. I'm gonna do number two. You said side not initialized, not normalized. Oh man, it's too big. Let me um, I'm gonna go up. yes. He said all effect sensor no fault. He said all effect sensor B no fault and all effect sensor A no fault. Four window regulator is D normalized. So frequency of demon normalization reverse in action one out of zero one of zero function check. Check wiring, check window mechanism, voltage, unit drive, fault, and test data. Alright, we're gonna close this out. We're gonna go service function here. Oh, initialize four window regulators, blue mean must be uh, um, suspended. Alright, then we're gonna go here, vehicle management, service function. Go to body. Initialize four window regulators, run that ABL again. Alright, we're gonna maximize this. So driver's door and front passenger door. I'm gonna do these right here. Driver's door and front passenger door continue. Click those, click continue. 
Alright, right, said should be initialized before we have the drivers on the front door, blah blah started, yes. Alright, so it's just started. There you go. Supposed to show now it's just finished. You go. Okay, good. There goes the result. It says it's finished properly. It's gonna read out whatever now. You said these are normalized now. See that? It's on the rear passenger is denormalized. So we're gonna do the rear now. We said all of these right here for the driver side, passenger side, rear side is normalized. Also. So we're gonna do the rear. Rear side. Click continue. Let us see. Oh, it's doing it, but over that side, here it goes. Rear right, there it goes. Alright, you say it's initializing successfully. Alright, no problem. Alright, he said everything is normalized now on all windows. This one, you see that? All of that is normalized. Alright, so we finish this now. We're gonna end service function. Click 7, click continue. Alright, we're gonna go here. I delete file code again. Should be no file code, should be all green. Should be good to go. Alright, zero for all code, all control model green. Alright, we're gonna start car now and um, turn off the charger. Gonna start the car. Take the icon off. We'll finish with that. We're gonna start the car. Here's our key at the top. Boom, boom, boom. Here. Off. We'll go here. Foot on brake. And then, as you can see now, there's no more e piece on that. Look at the steering wheel. Free now. Free. All right, it's free. It's good. All right. All right, YouTubers. Thanks for viewing my BMW programming and encoding channel on YouTube. Remember to subscribe. I am out. Power steering is not working and it's okay. Okay. Goodbye. Boom. Call. Follow. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Fall. Follow. It's finished now. It's good. Yeah. Everything's working awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, appreciate it. Oh, yeah. The light is gone. It's zero fall codes in the car, okay? I initialize the windows and those are two file codes remaining in it and I delete and I initialize all four windows and it's good, okay? Okay. That's awesome. Um, can I sell you money, PayPal you money? No, they can we have cash up? I you have cash up? You can send to cash up or you can send to Zale. Zale, Zale. Yeah, Zale would be better for me. I don't use cash up anymore. Why you don't use cash up? Is there any problem? Um I had an issue with them once where I just they didn't release money for me and I had a problem with that. Okay, 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 okay. I mean you have to have a